Joining me now to expand on this discussion is South Carolina Congresswoman Nancy Mays. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me today. And it's terrible what's going on. Welcome to the left's war on women. They don't want to protect women. They just want to pander to them. When you're talking about abortion, the, the left had a supermajority years ago, didn't use it to, quote, protect women from uh, Republicans trying to destroy abortion. We want to protect lives. But all these women, and these aren't the only ones, we had a four-year-old toddler last year, uh, a little girl who was killed on the road by an illegal in South Carolina. Um, he, The guy was deported under Donald Trump let back in under Joe Biden. This is their mess. They created this. Republicans want to protect women and children. In fact, I've got a bill called the Violence Against Women Act by illegal aliens. If you're here illegally and you rape and murder a woman or a child, you should be immediately deported. Get out of our country. We want to put our nation's citizens first. And I bet you when that bill comes to the floor, Jim Jordan just passed it out of judiciary a few weeks ago, we're going to have a mountain of Democrats voting against American women in this country. You know, moments ago, I played a clip of a radical Democrat, Jay Appel, laughing, mm -hmm. laughing at that headline that a child was raped by an illegal in New York. These, these are the people we're allowing to represent us in Congress, but they want to say that Trump is the bad guy, he's the evil one, and... and you know, what, what, what is your reaction to your Democrat colleague literally laughing? Well, it's pretty disgusting as a rape survivor who's been shamed by the left, by the likes of George Stephanopoulos and others over uh, being a rape survivor. I find it extremely disgusting that anyone would mock uh, women and girls who have been victims of rape and sexual assault. Uh, it's, it's a horrible thing to go to. It's a lifetime of trauma. It's not a joke. And my question to Congresswoman Jayapal is, why is any of this funny? This is a problem that you created with Joe Biden, along with the administration, wide open borders. These illegals are coming across our border. They are raping and killing women and girls. And who's going to put a stop to it? We know who. That will be Donald Trump. And obviously, this isn't the first time these suspects have done something like this. They don't just decide to come mm -hmm. to the United States and say, I'm going to rape and kill this person. Rachel Moran, uh, the suspect in her case, he there was a string of crimes attributed to him already here in the United States. So what is your reaction to the Democrat talking point that says, no, the, Venezuela and these other countries, they're not emptying out their jails and mental asylums and then the criminals are coming here. These are people that are coming to the United States for a better life. Right. And when you look at, even worse, American tax dollars going to these NGOs in Central and South America, literally using your tax dollars to pay these people to come here, showing them the way how to get here illegally, how to register to vote, how to get licenses and a Social Security number so they can register to vote, voting in our elections, uh, reaping the benefits that you sow by hardworking Americans who pay taxes in this country. Joe Biden wants to add all these illegals to our health care system. Uh, we cannot do this, which is why it's more important than ever. This, this election is supremely consequential to women, to girls, to children in this country, to everyone in this nation. It's why we have to kick Joe Biden out of the White House. We have to get a bigger majority in the U.S. House and flip the U.S. Senate. My message to conservatives is, is stop talking to conservatives. Talk to independent voters. Talk to women. Talk to people who will make a difference in this election and show them, as you did at the park yesterday, why voting for Trump? Who cares about the mean tweets? Um, there's so much more at stake than social media right now. Lives are at stake. Women are at stake. Children, we want to protect all of them. And we will do that with the conservative policies of Donald Trump. That is a guarantee.